Good morning, Positive Impact Club. Okay, so today is part two of three of the things I learned on my family trip to Arizona a few weeks back. Today, we're gonna dive into the concept of tips and referrals, and the deeper dive here will be how these should be earned, not just expected. Check out the events that took place during the first 24 hours of that trip. So we parked our car in the Albany parking lot. It was the long-term lot, and this required us to take a shuttle to bring us to the terminal. When we got off the shuttle, the driver helped us take our luggage to the curb. Now, I didn't ask him to do that, nor did I need him to do that, but regardless, I gave him a $5 tip. So then we fly from Albany to Chicago where we had a layover and we grabbed dinner. All right, so the food was average at best. The service was just a tad above terrible. And when the bill arrived, I left a 20% tip for our server. Now, we landed in Phoenix and I needed to rent a car. The gentleman helping me was named Guillermo. And as I stood at the counter, he took me through the process and offered me all the different options I had. When we finished the paperwork, he explained to me that I needed to take an elevator down to level one to get the car. But when I did, there would be a woman there asking me how his service was and he'd appreciate a good word. So when I got down to the garage, the lady was indeed there and she asked me how Guillermo did and I said, he was great. So we spend the night in Phoenix. The next morning we drive up to Sedona and we'd never been to Sedona before. So the first thing that we did was we booked a trolley tour so we could get a lay of the land. Our driver's name was Tom. It was chilly out that day. So the first thing Tom did when everybody was boarding the trolley was he offered us a blanket. He spent a few minutes chatting and building rapport with us as people got settled in and tickets were collected. Once the tour start started, Tom, he offered us tips and tricks and insights to adventuring and hiking around Sedona. His stories were thoughtful, insightful, and helpful, and he gave us the do's and don'ts based on his experiences as a resident and a hiker of Sedona from the past 33 years. He offered to take group pictures during the stops, and, and when he offered suggestions, he not only gave us those suggestions, but he also gave us the why and the reasons behind it. When the trip ended, uh, Tom didn't ask for a tip but I gave them one anyway. See, I work in a referral-based business, as do most members of the Positive Impact Club. So my challenge to you today is this. Before you just expect somebody to refer you, make sure you do something that provides them with tremendous value that sets you apart from others, and you will earn more referrals. You see, in my first 24 hours, the first three people I tipped and helped out all expected it, but none of them would I refer to a friend or family member. However, if any of you are ever in Sedona, I wouldn't think twice about referring you to Tom on the Sedona trolley tour. Why? Because he earned the right to be referred. He didn't just expect it.